It was definitely just always in my mind that I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm gonna skate on Team USA. Like it was never like a question. I was like, yep, it's gonna happen. Synchronized skating is like the only thing where it's like its own sport. It's not like the female version of something else. And it's 99.99% female. The whole design of the sport of synchronized skating is everybody moves the same, they breathe the same, their feet go the same. It wasn't until I was 55 when I saw uh, Synchro Nationals, I was mesmerized. I became hooked on Synchro. We would perform during the hockey games for U of M because there was nowhere else we could really perform. Coaching never came to mind until I saw an opportunity that I might find something that I could do. No one really knows about it, but no one really knows about it because no one broadcasts it. Like, it's not on TV. Synchro is a different animal. They just think it's so much more can, can go wrong. 16 at one time. Perfect. What comes first, the chicken or the egg? So do you become an Olympic sport and then you start training like an Olympian? Or do you train like an Olympian and then become an Olympic sport? Our, our life is what's next? What can we do next? Not what, what did we do? Yes, it's about skating, but it's more about community. You find synchronized skating and it's this whole new crazy world that you can do anything in.